that chap there. So, here we have the situation we had in the previous video with the cheese on top of the video. Now, cheese in one place is boring. We want the cheese to move about. So we can change the position quite easily. We can change the Y scale and make it stretch. So we can make it there be bouncy cheese. You can change the Y position so the cheese moves up and down. You could even do both in a way that it looks like it's actually bouncing. So if you want something to change, all you have to do is click this enable disable keyframes if you click to enable keyframes then what you will do is you'll allow it to be changed across the video and I'll do the same thing for the Y scale so that it can stretch and bounce so what we'll do is we'll start off right at the beginning with the cheese completely squashed right at the bottom of the screen then what you do is you just move it along and then click this plus button here to add a keyframe this allows you to change what everything is what we will do is I will make it move up slightly and also make the scale move up slightly then and this is an important thing if you shift click the whole thing becomes a curve if you control click you toggle one part between being curve and not being curve so you can make either of them straight or either of them curved shift click all of them straight or all of them curved now usually curved looks much nicer and if we play the video you can see it moving the cheese gradually rising in a very strange, eerie way. But uh, that's the kind of thing that you can do. You can make it move faster, you can do anything. All you have to do is click on this um, stopwatch button, go to graphs, and if you want to make certain points where it will be a specific number, then you just add a keyframe at that point by clicking this plus button. If ever you want to remove a keyframe, you just click this button to jump to the keyframe and then click the minus button to remove that keyframe. And that is how you get things to move around and change shape in Lightworks.